animate your logo. In this video, I'm going to show you how to easily animate your logo without the use of complicated software such as Premiere Pro or After Effects. In just a few clicks, you can animate your own logo 12 different ways. Now for this, we'll be using Veed. Let's get started. Now we're on Veed, click upload file and choose your logo PNG file. Give that a moment to upload. My logo is square, so I'm actually going to resize my video to fit that. I'll hit settings in the toolbar and then click the drop down box next to size and use a one to one square ratio. I'll then pull on the corner inside toggles to fill the frame. Moving on to how to animate our logo, we're going to click on animations and in here we have 12 different animations that we can choose from. To see how each one works, just hover your mouse over it to see it in effect. Once you've chosen your favorite animation, you can then select how long you would like that animation to last for by increasing the seconds bar in duration. Click out and then choose how you would like your animation to disappear from the screen and choose the duration. Now, one thing you'll notice, my background is black and that's not going to look great when I go to add this logo to future videos. Oh my god, ew, David! So let's change that. Click settings in the toolbar and then under background, click the color bucket. We're going to select the brightest green here so we can key out the green color when we add our animated logo to future videos. Let's export our animated logo. Click done in the top right hand corner and click where it says quality. Then choose your render settings, go back and click export video. Lastly, click download and download MP4. Now we have our animated logo and we can use that on future videos for promoting our brand or even watermarking our videos by popping it up in a corner. I'm going to quickly show you how to remove the green screen. In Veed, I've uploaded my video and my animated logo and I have my logo here in the top right hand corner. Now I'm going to play it for you and you'll notice that the green is showing. To remove it, I'm going to select my logo layer in the timeline, scroll down to magic tools and select green screen. I'm going to turn on green screen and now if I play it back, it's perfect. I hope you found this video helpful and I will see you in the next one. Bye.